Alam. Kohalo Yahweh Bashan Abishai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the confusion of faith joined unto our ranks, to the uh, my fellow yoke mates, my, the other laborers that are doing this work in truth and sin sincerity, uh, teaching the, the scriptures, the word, both directly and correctly, rather than in the great millstone or not. To the aquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with a very important lesson. And uh, basically, it's about how Esau, there, there is uh, different sets of justices in America. It's actually three. All right. There's justice that is for, uh, for Esau Edom, the elites. Then there's justice for the everyday average Joe Blow Edomite. And then there's the justice for Jake. And um, talking about Jeffrey Epstein in this uh, in this video, Jesse Ventura and Rick Sanchez. This is um, Jesse Ventura's spot on the the RT, and uh, Rick Sanchez is his guest. Uh, in the studio on, on this particular thing and um, I just want to read start with this scriptures because basically he's, he's talking about how the Epstein case got swept under the rug the first time why because there were very important people in very high places that were involved in this man with this man and the things that they were doing and this was more than just uh, uh, sex exploitations of minors and things these were rituals and satanic rituals going on and and orgies, I mean, they're going to tell you how everyone knew about this island and called it Orgy Island, Pedophile Island, all these names. But yet, this man had fake names and false passports issued by government officials. This, this man is very well connected. Hence the reason why R. Kelly is the forefront of the sexual thing right now. Because you have to remember, anytime the Edomite male gets exposed... They counteract with stories that put Jake at the headlines every time, like clockwork. All right. Or they'll come up with some terrorist attack. Anything, anything. <laughs> I'm speaking like a Benjaminite now. Anything to distract from the Edomite male. So without any further ado, let's read the scripture. This is Psalms 73 and 5. And it reads, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain and violence covereth them as a garment. Go by RT anchor Rick Sanchez for more on the Epstein case. Mm -hmm. Rick, you cover this story on your show. Compare Epstein's previous trial to what's going on now. We know his powerful connection saved him from facing real consequences before. What's the difference this time around? Well, let's stay with the Florida case first for just a little bit. Okay. I think this is really important. Can I just be real serious about this for a minute sure. as not just a citizen and as a journalist, but as a father? I want to tell you the story of what happened in Florida from the perspective that you often don't hear in the media. You're a father and you have a 14-year-old daughter. You knock on the door of a police chief and you say, I think a man has raped my daughter, right? You are going to your government authority figure and telling them that you think something heinous has happened to your daughter. They do an investigation, they come back. And you know what they say to you? You know what they said to those 36 fathers in Florida whose minor daughters were apparently raped by this man? What they told them was that they've struck a deal with, uh, with Epstein in such a way so that they've determined that they're gonna give the guy a chance to plead to solicitation, which means your daughter is a whore. That's what that means. Yeah. Your daughter's a whore. Your daughter is a prostitute. That's what they are saying yeah, absolutely. Because to those fathers. Because solicitation means he solicited. With a prostitute. Exactly. How can a 14-year-old girl be a prostitute? But that is what the case was in Florida. They basically told those fathers and those mothers that their daughter is a prostitute. 
I think that's sick. I think it's disgusting. I think it's vile. And by the letter of the law, they were supposed to at least check with them first and said, look, we're going to do a plea deal with this guy. We just want to make sure you guys understand. Maybe there was a real reason to do it. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is they did that. And just from a, from, from, from a human standpoint, me, as a father of uh, uh, a 17-year-old daughter, yep. that just teased me off to no end, man. Okay. Now, Epstein called his jet the Lolita Express. <laughs> he often flew his friends to his private island, which locals referred to as Pedophile Island, yeah. Orgy Island, Island of Sin. It was notoriously known how the hell did Epstein get away with this so long? If everybody knew about this place and he's got it labeled on his damn airplane, there's something we're going with tonight on our show. We're uh, essentially going with a brand new development in this story that they just went and tracked. In fact, some of my sources and uh, friends, uh, fellow uh, colleagues, I should say, at the Miami Herald, which is the paper who's been doing the best work on this story, by the way. Right. Kudos to journalist Julie Brown, who's done this investigation when nobody else cared about it. Uh, and uh, what we're going to report tonight is that Epstein was handing out money like candy to anybody who he could possibly influence. So when, if, if, if the, the notion that you raise is, uh, Governor, why didn't these people know? Come on, when you're riding on a plane that's the Lolita Express, when you go to a party and you see nothing but little girls all over the place or young ladies all over the place, when you open the door to a cracked uh, door in a, in a bedroom and you see something nefarious going on, like illicit sex, why wouldn't you do something about it? And the answer seems to be money and lots of money. This guy was dealing in two areas, money and influence. Who exactly he was doing it for and why he was doing it that way, we don't know at this point. But, there's, but, but as sure as you and I are sitting here right now, there was money being exchanged, and he at some point may have had something on these guys, and there's even a story that we've been looking into, and we're not the only ones, that the Mossad or the intelligence in Israel uh, working through Les Wexler, who is the guy who apparently he was working for, he was the beneficiary of, super billionaire dude who started uh, Victoria's Secret, became a multi-billionaire. Wexler has ties to the Israeli government, through the Israeli government. There's questions about whether or not they were trying to get juice on American politicians so that they would pressure him, which, by the way, is nothing that all governments don't do. Yeah. Now, this whole case looks bad for a lot of people. We've known about Clinton and Trump's ties to Epstein for a long time now. No one has ever investigated the nature of these relationships. Do you think anyone will look into them now? I think now these guys, yeah, and, and this goes to the first question you asked me, because we talked about the Florida case, which apparently was, was plead. Now we get into the New York case, which obviously is not going to be pleaded. There's not going to be a deal here. He's going to stay in prison for quite some time. And his uh, friends are sweating because this all comes down to something which is very simple, which again goes back to human nature. If I said to you, Rick Sanchez or uh, Governor, um, you're either going to spend the rest of your life in prison or you're going to be able to give us some information where we're going to let you out a little sooner, what decision do you make? Are you willing to give up any one of the names that you and were just mentioning on, on, on the show? Is it Donald Trump? Is it Bill Clinton? I don't know. Yep. Now the big question to me, what do you make of the claims by Acosta that Epstein was an intelligence agent? And is there evidence as to which government he may have worked for? Have you... Have you delved into that of at all? Of course I have. Because Acosta made the claim that he was told to back off by powerful people in intelligence. You know, um, you and I both love a good conspiracy, but we also have to be mindful of uh, the reason uh, that people might say the things they do. Um, let's remember that to believe Acosta is to understand that this guy is trying to save his ass, right? He needs a reason to do something that's totally vile and, if nothing else, stupid. Who the hell lets a man walk who's accused by 36 young ladies of rape? He did. He did that. So uh, the one reason I want to not give too much credence to that is because he might be using that as an escape for why he did what he did in Florida when in actuality there may have been other pressures applied. But if he got pressed... Wouldn't he have to say who told him? 
and lead him, lead us up the ladder a See, little this bit. Is what I mean, if this, this is this, legit, this, and he's looking to save his own skin. This is what makes the story yeah. so fascinating. Is he going to reveal, if it's true, this upper echelon person, if the person did tell him to back off? Now, let's move off from journalistic uh, questioning and the type of stuff you and I normally do and okay. just talk about what the word is on the street. All right. All right. The word on the street is uh, Epstein is not going to survive prison. At he's some, gonna, that he's going to get killed. What do, what do we used to call it? What did our parents call it? Rubbed out or something like that? Yeah. That he just well, I mean, of or course, the old days bumped off. Bumped off? Bumped no. Off. And obviously, yes. obviously, this there, there's some just you know uh, fun conjecture but, you and I are but, doing here. But this guy knows a lot, Governor. This guy knows a lot and can hurt a whole lot of people. Do people like apparent, that normally then, survive? It, but isn't it apparent then that he has to be kept in solitary confinement then when he does go to prison if there's this fear? You know how many people in prison are uh, end up uh, meeting their demise, whether it's Jeffrey Dahmer or something Well, else? I haven't kept track, but I know I've heard. Well, I, no, I don't listen, have a statistical I'm, number. I'm just saying there's a whole lot of people out there. I and just this know is, that pedophiles are not looked upon highly in prison. Exactly. And uh, the you nature know. of uh, something like this happened would be easily explainable, let's just say. And this goes beyond journalistic quantity. So they may actually put him in a prison to get him killed. I'm so just... that he can't talk about nothing or expose nothing, because that would be an easy way out, wouldn't it? Oh, unfortunately... This murderer over here was angry at a pedophile, and it happens all the time in prison. Look, we're working on a story today as well that has ties between Jeffrey Epstein and Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is one of the biggest banks in the history of the world. I know they're, we broke the story that they're collapsing, sure. but there's the fact that he's tied to some of the biggest tycoons in the world, some of the biggest politicians in the world, prime ministers, royalty, two presidents. I mean, there are a lot of people with a lot to lose whose uh, reputations are tied to this man. And, and see, there it is. All right? You notice when they said uh, he could meet his demise by some murderer, they showed you a room full of jakes. You know, it was like, you know, one or two Edomites, you know, s s you know, scuttling around in the background. But you have to understand, this American media is, is set up to distract you from Esau, and shine the light on Jake. They turn the light out on Esau and shine the light on Jake. So you best believe, my question is, where is Fox News? Where, where, where is the coverage of this on all the mainstream media? Because, you know, when I'm, when I'm training people and they're, they're, they're playing the news in the background, most of them play Fox. And every, every five to six minutes on Fox, when you're watching the news programming, they're flashing a, a Jake's face across the... Uh, across the screen and it's mainly at this point R. Kelly. Alright? And what R. Kelly did, you know, uh, you know, you could it, it, I mean it is what it is. He, you know, he was being a jerk and was being wicked. But what he did is is very small in comparison to what Epstein has done. But yet Epstein's is not in the media every day all day long. Okay? He's just he just isn't. And um and all these important high-level people. Royalty. So we're talking about British royalty, who are not really the royalty. and uh, uh, So British oligarchs, other oligarchs from other countries. And then your hierarchy, oligarchy here in America. Very important uh, uh, officials. All right? This is uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. Point is in 16, but I'm going to start at 15. And it reads, One to him that giveth his neighbor... Drink and put us thy bottle to him and make us him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. So if they were using this man, you know, as an agent to coerce and, and get dirt on other officials from other country, then they accomplished it. It accomplished it. It just wasn't meant for him to get caught for it to be seen or found out. But it has. Why? Verse 16 in the point. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. And the cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. And now the shame and the embarrassment is coming down upon Esau, Edom. All right? And they're being exposed. So with that, all praise is going honor be unto Yahweh, by Shai, by Shem, Wa, Abba, Baal.